Hi guys, it's Hannah and today I will be reviewing a book that kind of broke me, that broke the way I see the world and that really left me um, in, let's say, emotionally not stable place. And that book is Girls Burn Brighter by Shopa Rao. I don't really know how to pronounce her name. This book came out uh, on 6th of March and even though it is a little bit uh, marketed as a YA story about two girls coming uh, of age, two girls discovering the same friendship between two girls. This is not that kind of book. I mean, yes, this book essentially is about two girls, Purnima and Savita, and about their friendship, but it is so much more beyond that. So it's set in India. It actually, these two girls, they belong to the lowest caste uh, in, in India so for me uh, all the people from India that I know personally both in Germany and when I lived in UK um, they are all pretty rich because to get out of India to live abroad to study or to own your own company or to work abroad you have to have a lot of money and I never knew this poverty I knew that India is a poor country and that people suffer I never knew such level of poverty is even possible. So, you know, like we, what we think in a Western world of poverty, when we see a people that are homeless or collecting bottles or looking at the trash bins for food, this in comparison to what is described in this book, to what this book is about, is almost luxury. Because the poverty this book deals with, it, I, I don't know how to describe it is the people in these hurts they live it's not even slums it's beyond that there is no fresh water there is no electricity they all sleep in the same room they all cook in the same room the food is always rice and if you even poorer than these people you eat like um, men Purmina goes with Savita to her home and Savita is much poorer than Purmina. I don't think, I mean, I, mean, I thought it's not even possible. But um, she sees spoiled some vegetables like an onion and that she knew that that was um, the food of the family for the whole week. And when you think about it, it's, it's incredibly crazy. So these girls, of course, they have no education and they uh, go into this arranged marriage which um so what the author did in this book really well was the fact that she wrote in the beginning that it was 2001 i was born at that time of course i was already like growing up at that time and uh, i can really read you know i know what is happening in that time what we had and what is described in these books how these girls when they start to bleed uh, up to that like they're work is to cook and clean for the men and they are not even considered as children as kind of children when the father when like so there's this point in the book so i'm not gonna try to talk about specific characters because i don't want to really spoil but just i'm gonna talk in general about because there are different things happening not just to these two girls and basically um there's an accident where a girl runs little little runs to the water and the father one runs after her to save her but the last minute when he sees that she can be took like taken away by the water he stops thinking that just let go it's only a girl because girls don't have no they give a dowry like basically they sell to whoever takes them uh, and then they taken by the husband they're supposed to be grateful but it's really they taken as a servant and this story is so heartbreaking it's not just a really low caste the life of them the culture but it's so the whole idea is that um, these girls meet as kids like as a teenagers and then after four years um, they meet again uh, but things that happen is for years so this book deals with slavery, with brothels, where girls are kept drugged. So um, basically the way, it, so I, they can be 
either that the family sells the girls, the daughters, to pay off their debts uh, or just for food or something um, to the brothers or they are abducted from the street. Um, basically they drugged, they taken in in a brothel and uh, they get addicted to drugs so they make sure that they get addic addicted to the drug and then they do anything to get that drug because of withdrawal. And of course in that time the like I don't know handle of the brother brother they check if there's any family rich enough to care or look for them if not they keep these girls and then they sell them they do whatever and at some point you get to these parts where these girls don't have anything and uh, I'm talking to no and uh, they 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 start uh, selling off their body parts because they don't have anything and also they eventually end up some of them in the USA uh, they are imported like bought and uh, to supposedly clean houses but we both know it's not really the purpose of it only so they become slaves and how they can't really escape because they have obviously no passwords they don't even know what is the passport they don't speak English and it's it's so heartbreaking like it's so freaking heartbreaking and the worst part is okay so they are sold by the parents um, to the husband and then when the husband doesn't like they can just throw them out or do even worse things to them and they can't tell anybody uh, apparently this is what is society and the worst part is that it's actually so these girls know each other for a few years and then they suffer unspeakable things and they meet again and because the author said the time period in the beginning it's really easy to like put together what is happening in the world that you grow up at the time and what these girls going through it's just heartbreaking I haven't read the book that broke me this much so I read this I started last night and I finished just a few uh, minutes ago because I just I wanted to record my feelings through for you instead of you know putting together a nice review and encouraging you to read I wanted to try to put out the real feelings I have for it and uh, I know it has been promoted by a few booktubers but I think this book should really be read because your problems I mean of course your problems become not so uh, big anymore when you read this and then after a while you forget about the book and then you again fine like your big problems like what you wear or something like this, you know but um, what this book really taught me was that look around you because this is happening today and yes you don't know you can't like really change anything that's happening in India to these girls but they are being bought like in the ship to Dubai or to, to USA or other countries uh, to slave and you meet them in the airport you go past them and you go past them on the street like when one of the girls was running away in USA she tried at least uh, there were some people like she can't talk obviously and she just knows one place where she's going and uh, People don't understand her show so they ignore her when she asks them tries to ask them uh, They just think that she is Like begging for money or wants to sell herself, you know or She's just being mean Mexican because apparently some people can't tell the difference between Indian and Mexican um, but yeah, and then like these people they they get assaulted, they get treated like nothing and not like people and it's just, it's horrible, it's so horrible. I haven't read anything uh, uh, based in India, um, um, people, like, because this is literal fiction, so the author is no, knows what she's writing about and it was really heartbreaking, really heartbreaking to read. I know it's not really a review, I don't know what this is, but I want to just put my feelings out there for you and... Uh, maybe this will convince you to read this book because it's one of these books that will gonna stay with you forever i think it's like something that you're gonna reflect to yes it's heartbreaking it's hard to read but at the same time it really shows you a lot and uh, also i think it was amazing to learn about the real india and not just the part you are shown uh 
and told about the people you know with pools and servants and all that this people don't like the girls they haven't seen cinema they haven't seen it tv uh they don't know what food is they don't know what is passport so i think this already says a lot about what kind of heritage we are talking about so yeah even though this book is targeted to a young adults uh, audience i think uh, i think it should be targeted to everybody because i know a lot of people think that, oh it's way i'm not gonna read this is gonna be silly uh, i think it should be more targeted to in general people who read instead of just making it oh it's a YA book um because it will give it will leave every single reader just sitting there and thinking wow what did i just read like it changes you changes on so many levels and uh, yeah that's pretty much it i guess i'm sure i'm gonna have many many thoughts after this but as i said i wanted to record my original feelings i don't think you can even read this book because even though yes it's a fictional story i know it's a story of many girls who went through this and i think you can't really read a life that they have to go through um so just for the sake of it i give it five to five stars but in general this book is not equal to any other like entertaining fiction that i read that i gave five stars i think this book is way above that and it just leaves you feeling many things and it changes you and shapes you and I hope you're gonna end up reading it. So yeah, that is pretty much it and I see you next video. Bye!